What is going on my Hot Shots? Today I'm going to be making a video talking about the good of the United States military. More specifically, United States Air Force, even more specific, security forces. I recently got out of the military about two weeks ago. Uh, I was in for almost six years, guys. Almost six years. Did a lot of stuff. I met a lot of good people. It was just crazy. Before I start this video, I want to say RIP Staff Sergeant Shepard. He was dealing with a lot of mental stuff and he ended up killing himself. There's been a lot of homies that have killed themselves in the military. Also, a lot of civilian friends that have killed themselves, but just a lot of friends have killed themselves. Mental health is no joke, guys. It's literally no joke. If you guys need anything, say something below, message me. I don't care. Like, I don't want to see anyone kill himself. That shit fucking sucks. He had a family. Just tragic, man. But in today's video, just trying to get on a brighter note now, I want to talk about the good of the United States military, more specifically United States Air Force, more specifically security forces, guys. I was in security forces for nearly six years, guys. If you guys have any sort of questions, I'll answer down below. Right now, I'm on terminal leave. I got out, like I said, about two weeks ago. Terminal leave essentially is like where you have like all your leftover leave before you get out of the military. You can do up to 30 days per the regulation unless a commander signs off and you can just take your leave. You're out of the military, but you're still technically in the military. You're still active duty. You're getting paid by the military and you still have all the benefits and stuff, but you're just out of the military. So right now I'm on my terminal leave. I'm looking for a place to work. I found a place to work. I'll be working at Amazon. <laughs> so yeah, just part time, hopefully with this whole content or anything, trying to make this my job. So guys, drop a sub, guys, please drop a sub. I'm trying to make this my job, full-time job, full-time career. So a little bit about me. Uh, I enlisted out of Montana, in Butte, Montana. Uh, I'm from Billings, Montana originally, which is the biggest city, but the only place we can ship out is Butte. So I shipped out from Butte to Lackland to do my basic training, and then also at my security forces tech school in Lackland. You guys might have seen my security forces videos. I didn't really make any prior because uh, it just was annoying while I was in. I was just getting made fun of and shit. Like, I mean, it wasn't like made fun of, but like it was just like hazing, and I was just like, ah, I don't wanna deal with it, bro. And then I saw a lot of people get in trouble for making videos. So yeah, one thing is if you're in the military, don't make videos while you're in the military, because like your leadership will fuck you up. Like if something happens and shit goes viral there's this page on facebook called the airman nco page and shit will fuck you up i got on that page one time and i ended up getting in a lot of trouble for it but that'll be in the bad video i'll talk about that later guys. Uh, any questions guys i'll probably answer it next week in my own military video i'll try to do one of these military type videos a week maybe one two depending on how good these do so yeah let's get into the good so the first good thing is well i met my wife i mean that's kind of good right no but i met my wife uh i was stationed overseas my entire career in england after my tech school training uh yeah, it was pretty cool. Met my wife, I don't know. She's my Tinderella, met her on Tinder. All right, so one good thing with the military is that you're always paid, like the first and the 15th. I thought that was really nice. I mean, I'm very smart about money. I'm in the stock market. I also was putting in a lot of money towards my retirement plan. That's another good benefit is the retirement plan. No one talks about the Roth, the Roth retirement plan, the Roth TSP. You put in money in the military match up to, I believe it's like eight or 10% or something. I can't remember the exact number, but I, you can max like, 20 something percent and i was maxing out my thing at 24 percent. so 24 percent of my paycheck was going towards that retirement plan so like right now i have i think about like 60 or seventy thousand dollars in that but the military matched a little bit of it and then also the people invest into certain funds like there's like a bunch of different funds they invest into so that thing's gonna be worth like a lot of money by the time i turn i think you can take pull it out when you're 62 and a half it's a weird number so yeah it's just gonna be worth a lot of money so that was like a really good thing but getting paid on the 1st and 15th was a very, very nice thing. Like, you really don't have to worry about money, you know? Like, there's this thing I'm going to talk about in the good video and also the bad video. It's called, like, airplane mode. It's, like, pilot mode. You were, like, on cruise control. You're, like, a zombie because you're just doing the same thing day in, day out, and you're getting paid, you know? It's just, like, it's good and bad. I just didn't like it because I didn't feel like I was progressing. Like, you can progress in rank, but it's super hard to progress in rank because there's a lot of favoritism involved and stuff when it comes to your EPRs, which essentially is, like, how you're rated, like, your leadership will rate you and there's a lot of favoritism and I will go into that in the bad video not this video but getting paid on the first and 15th was super nice like every like no matter what you were getting paid you know what I mean like even during COVID when it all went down we were getting paid you know what I mean like it was super fucking nice also while I was like deployed I got paid a lot extra being in the Air Force you get a lot extra like I was making like in Romania I was making like $103 a day and I was staying in a hotel off base and it was fucking sick like it was a great deployment it just sucked being with my wife because we just got married at the time but I mean I was making a lot of money, bro. Like I brought home like fucking like 16 grand with the stock market. It came like almost like 50 grand. Like it was wild, like how much money I was making, but I was just being smart financially. That's one thing a lot of people don't do while they're in the military is like are smart financially. They just blow their money on dumb shit. Like I drove the same piece of shit 1999 car my whole six years overseas. It was like a 1996 or 1998 BMW. And I drove that shit all the way through, bro. Some people just go out there and buy new cars and get high interest rates and shit, but bro, no, I was like smart about money. The next thing we're gonna talk about is health insurance. It's nice having health insurance, just knowing that you'll always be healthy, you always get medical checkups. The only thing that sucks is, one, they forced the vaccine on us. I didn't like that. I'll get into that in the bad video, but I personally got forced the vaccine by my leadership. Not really forced, but I mean, they were like peer pressuring everyone to get the vaccine. I'm completely against the vaccine. I mean, you guys have your own views, but I'm against it. I ended up getting it, 
but it's because my, my leadership lied to me while I was deployed. I will get into that another time, not now, but that was just wild, that whole COVID thing. But you also get like the flu vaccine. I like getting like influenza vaccine every year. I actually do enjoy getting that because I feel like it does help even though I get sick right after, but I feel like I'd have, I don't get sick after that. Uh, you get all the vaccines are basic, of course. Then also like if something were to go wrong, you can go to the doctors. And then if you don't like your military doctors, you can talk to a referral agency and then they will get your referral off base through TRICARE to like another doctor if you don't like what the military doctors are saying, which I had to do a lot of times. As you guys know, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I had really bad problems with COVID after, like I didn't get COVID until I got vaccinated and then I got fucked up from COVID. Like I have super bad lung issues to this day. It's super bad like chest issues. Like it's pretty bad. Like there was a point where like I couldn't do anything for two months. I couldn't even breathe or walk. And like my leadership wasn't really helping me at all, which was super fucking frustrating. And that'll be in the bad video also, but I'm not gonna get too much into that. But like, it was very nice just having like medical help me a lot, even though it took them a while to find out what was wrong. Like I literally thought I was gonna die. Like I couldn't breathe. Like I'm pretty sure you guys remember that if you guys have been watching me for a while, like it was awful. I couldn't breathe. I was coughing up blood. Like it was terrible. However, if I didn't have free healthcare, that shit would have cost that shit would have been through the moon, you know what I mean? That shit would have been so fucking expensive. So free healthcare was really nice. Also, you get free dental. Look at these friendly whites. <laughs> no, but you get free dental, which is very nice. You get one cleaning a year, which kind of sucks because I think they recommend you getting two cleanings a year, but you only get one cleaning a year. But if something were to happen, you can do that. I got my losing teeth out while I was in the military, which was very nice for free. Uh, yeah. Now, on the subject of health, there's VA disability. I got pretty fucked up because I was security forces. So my job requires me to just like walk around a lot or just like be standing at certain places. So I have a really bad ankle. Like I sprained it when we were doing PT one day and PT is like where you're like working out, you know, for like, you know, to stay in shape so you can do your PT test, which is like where you have to run a mile and a half, push up, sit ups, all that stuff. And anyway, so I hurt my ankle, I sprained it. And then they didn't really do anything. The medical doctors, I was like, what the fuck? They just gave me like a brace. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I kept running on it and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And then I got deployed and then I couldn't go to the doctor for like a year and a half because I was deployed. And then the Afghanistan pullout thing happened. I had to go help with that. So like I didn't get to go see medical treatment for a while. So I have like really bad problems with my ankle foot area. Like it's like super bad. I've been like an excruciating pain a lot of time. However, there's a thing called VA disability and I'm still in the process of doing my VA disability. You can do this while you're in guys. A lot of people don't tell you this. So make sure if you're in, you're about to get out right now, if you're watching this video, to do your VA disability claim 180 to 90 days out. So I'm in the process of doing that right now, but I have like a bunch of stuff wrong and I have to go in for a scan of my heart and stuff next week, which is kind of scary, but they're going to pay you for the rest of your life for your pain and stuff that you have suffered. Like I have that problems. I have super bad sleep habits because with security forces, your sleep schedule is constantly flipping and it's annoying as fuck. Like you'd be working nights, days, you have to fill in, you're working 14, 16 hour days, which fucking blows. But I mean, it's just part of what you signed up for, you know, but you had to do it. Like, yeah, it just sucked though. But you get paid every month a certain amount of money. So I'm looking at 70 to 100% disability pay from what I've been researching. So 70 is going to be eight, 17, dollars a month till I die. And then $3,600 if I get a hundred percent every month until I die, which is, seems like a lot of money, but the shit we went through, bro, it, that doesn't feel like enough, you know? One thing that was cool is because I was security forces, I only had to work half the month, quote unquote, half the month. I'll get into that in the bad video, what I mean by quote unquote, but it's pretty cool because we, we do this cycle called a Panama usually, every base I've been to, except for like when we had deployments or something crazy happened, like the Afghanistan pull out. But for the most part, they try and keep you in Panamas and it's like where you work, you work like Monday, Tuesday, one week, and then you'll have Wednesday, Thursday off that week. And then you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then the next week you only work Wednesday, Thursday. So like, there's like, it's like a shift work because there's two different shifts usually. One will work and then the other will be off. So you, essentially you get a three day weekend every other week. So you get Friday, Saturday, Sunday off every other week essentially, which is pretty nice. But it, like if you're on 12 hours, it kind of sucks. But like I said, it's only half the year you're working if you think about it. But there's a caveat to that and that's gonna be like stuff I'm gonna talk about in the bad video, which is like your training days and all this other stuff that you have to go through and your medical appointments that they schedule you and make you do. There's a lot of stuff you had to do that the military forced you to do on your off days, which is annoying. Uh, another cool thing was like, I got to do some really cool training. Uh, I got to meet some cool people too. Uh, like I got to meet with Navy SEALs, so I was at a spec ops base. I got to like mess around with their weapons and stuff because I was in the armory over there at my, one of my bases. It was really cool. I think it was SEAL Team 3 or SEAL Team 5. I can't remember the exact number, but it was pretty cool. I got to mess with their weapons. They had like dope ass scars with like angled foregrips and like fully auto glocks. It was fucking sick. And they were pretty dope dudes. But the training was cool because like, I mean, we did a lot of cool stuff. Got to fire a lot of cool weapons. 
I got to do like a lot of like military tactical training because my job is security. So I got to do a lot of cool stuff. I was deployed with like Marines and Army people. So I got to talk to them and see like all their tactics and stuff. Got to meet up and see what they were doing differently and all that stuff. I got like tased, as you guys know, of my Instagram. There's a video on my Instagram of me getting tased and that shit fucking sucked. My tongue like flew out of my mouth. It was like a fucking, a bunch of fucking knives being jabbed into you. That's how I explain it. Like electric knives everywhere. It was like wild. You can't control your body. I got controlled burn certified. I got CPR certified. I know how to do SABC. I can do medical procedures on, not like medical procedures, but I can like stop bleeding and stuff and like do tourniquets and all this kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. You never know when that'll come in handy. And I also learned like, kind of like how to like save lives, you know, like I'm like technically a first responder because you're like military police usually or like security at like your base. But like you're usually the first one on scene most of the time because fire and medical takes fucking ages to get out. So you have to do some stuff, you know, I uh, helped a woman one time going into diabetic shock. So that was pretty cool. Like, yeah, like I was like the first one in and I had to like help her and get her juice and stuff because she didn't really know what was going on. I just had to puzzle two and two together, you know, because she was in shock. Another good thing was travel. So that was really cool. I was stationed overseas my entire career. It just kind of fucking sucked during COVID because in England, they are fucking insane about COVID regulations. Like it is wild, bro. And plus their government just like has complete control of them, which was just absolutely absurd to me. It blows my mind. They, they can just do whatever they want because they don't have weapons there, which is why I'm very pro gun. But anyways, back to the point. It was cool because I got to travel a lot other than COVID. I got to go to, I think, 14 different countries, I think, which was very nice because you can travel on your off days overseas, depending on your location and what's going on and how your commander is. But he would let us travel anywhere on our off days if we wanted to. And it's like $20 just to like fly from like fucking England to Dublin or England to Italy or England to fucking wherever. So like I would just travel every once in a while on my days off. I wouldn't spend crazy money. There's people that would spend like stupid money. But like what I would do personally is I would just get like a cheap plane. I'd stay in a hostel or like a really cheap like Airbnb with a bunch of friends and we'd group up and yeah, that was it. And then just eat pretty cheaply, have like one good meal, you know, like one really good meal, like one place you really want to go to to just travel, see, see sites and stuff. You can walk pretty much everywhere in Europe, which was pretty nice. Yeah, I got to travel, see a lot of things, do, do a lot of cool things, you know, like, I don't know. Favorite place was probably fucking Budapest in Hungary. That shit was fucking sick. Like the spa bath, like was awesome. If you guys don't know what spa bath is, it's like a palace essentially, kind of a palace type thing with like a hot springs in the middle. And so like when we were there, it was like fucking like 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, it was fucking cold because it's over by Russia. But then like you were in the hot springs, the hot springs were like 95 degrees. So like you were in the water, it was the fucking coolest thing ever. Like steam was coming up, bro. it was so cool. However, there's a caveat to that. I was overseas my whole career. I got lucky. There are some people that are stuck stateside at like shitty bases. So that's also me in the bad. I'll talk into that later about like the bad of like the travel experience and all that kind of shit. Last but not least, the experience, bro. Like the experience of the military was just something you can't, you can't replicate, you know what I mean? Like you got experience working with all types of different people, whether it was like people you didn't like or you did like, or like people from different cultures, you know what I mean? Like me being from Montana, I don't see a lot of black people. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't see any black people. But when I was like in the military, there was a lot of black people. It was kind of different, but I got to learn to work with them. You know what I mean? Like being from like different states and stuff, you interact with other people, you know? It was pretty cool. Just meeting other cultures, seeing other things like, there's this dude from basic training. He was from Africa, like legit from Africa. Cause we have this program in the military where like, if you do a lot of paperwork, it's a long process. I don't remember how long he was waiting. I think it's like three or four years to even join the military, but it's like a long process. Then like after you go through basic training, you become a US citizen. So it was like really fucking cool and awesome to like, just meet that dude. Like he didn't speak that much English. And like we were teaching him English in basic training. And like, it was really like awesome. Just like hearing his stories and stuff from being in Africa. Cause like he was in like a shit environment. He had a full family, a bunch of kids. Shout out to my boy, Winsu. You know, we love you, Winsu. But it was just awesome. Like you can't teach that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like just the experience, like it really opened your eyes. Like there's this meme, like, like, like always pops up with the military. It was just like, we always talk about like how people are racist, like why people are racist. Cause like, it makes no sense. Like why people are racist. Like at the end of the day, like why the fuck are people racist? It doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know, being in the military, like you work with everybody, anybody. Not just like your country, but other countries as well. Like I was working with Germans, Belgians when I was deployed, working with the Romanians, Turkish people. Like I was working with all sorts of people when I was deployed. You know what I mean? I just think racism is fucking stupid, but yeah. And the last good of the military I want to talk about is the people. I mean, the homies. That's like really the only thing I'm going to miss about the military is the homies. Like that's it. Like just the people. Like I can't get on about that. Like you just meet the best people, people you never thought you'd meet in your life. Like. Some of my best friends are just from like the hood and like California or like the hood and like Atlanta, bro. You know what I mean? Like you don't expect to meet these types of people, but you do, you know what I mean? Especially me being from Montana. Like I keep, can't like stress out enough. Like the people I've met, 
I just would have never met if it wasn't for the military. And they are the best fucking people in the world. Like, that's like, I can't get over it. Like, it's just so awesome just the people you meet. You know what I mean? Like, these people have my back. Like, we're nowhere near each other. We're always messaging each other still in the group chats and shit. But they'll have my back no matter what. You know what I mean? Like, it's just awesome just knowing like your homies are there for you. And it's like different than your actual military or than your actual civilian friends. Cause I don't know, you're just going through the same shit together day in, day out. You know what I mean? Especially while you're deployed. Like my deployed homies, bro, man, that shit was different, bro. That shit was wild. But yeah, guys, honestly, I'm a big advocate for the military. I don't know if you should stay in the military, but you should join some sort of military. Just even if it's like a two year contract, I feel like everyone should experience it. Plus the benefits are crazy. Like the VA house loan, like I can buy a house now with zero down payment with a super low interest rate just for being in the military. So it's fucking crazy the benefits you get, like VA disability pay, like all these types of stuff. But you just got to do your research on your benefits. You know what I mean? I can even go to school right now if I want to and get paid by the military to go to school. They pay me to go to school if I really want to. But I just don't see the need to go to school. I really don't. I don't really. It doesn't interest me. And then also, like, hopefully this YouTube thing will take off. But this is it for the good video, boys. This is it. The bad video will be out probably in like, I want to say like a week or two when I'm actually out of the military and I will talk about the bad of the military. Like there is some bad parts. That's why I'm not in, obviously. There are some bad parts. I mean, if it wasn't for like being in position where I am now, I probably would have stayed in. It's really, I don't know, you just kind of get used to it. You're just going to cruise mode, like I said. But I just didn't want to be those people that went into cruise mode and just wasted away rotting in the military, in my opinion. I mean, if that's what you want to do, all for it. Do what makes you happy in life, you know? Just the military wasn't making me happy. So guys, drop a sub. Any questions, drop it down below, guys. Any questions at all. Uh, I'll probably answer my next video. If not, I might answer on my live stream because I stream video games. I stream Valorant. I'm one of the higher ranks in the game. Trying to go pro, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. Or at least be full-time content creator. I love each and every one of you guys. I am out. Adios. I, I, I